Hello everyone, welcome to the 8085 microprocessor instructions tutorial. Today we will be doing the instruction push and pop. But before starting with push and pop, we need to learn one more instruction. That is the first one is uh, <coughs> LXI SP 16 bit. Now LXI SP, we have already done LXI SP in the previous sessions. So here LS, LXI SP 16 bit, this is actually a 3 byte instruction. Now this instruction is used to initialize the stack pointer so before the instructions push and pop they are used with respect to the stack so before using the stack location we need to initialize the stack pointer so this instruction is used before using the push and pop we must know where we are initializing the stack pointer then uh, push instruction so push rb this is the operation code push rb now this is a one byte instruction it stores the contents of the given register pair onto the stack so from register pair to the stack uh, and uh, how it works so when we give this instruction the stack point is first decremented and the contents of the low order register are stored the stack point is decremented again and the contents of the high order register are stored so suppose if we are storing bc so first c will be stored then b will be stored now here you have to note down that uh, stack point is first decremented and the contents are stored afterwards okay? and in this case no flags are affected there are four push instruction push b for bc push d for d push h for hl and push psw psw's program status word which is combination of register a and the flag registers <coughs> then we have pop rb now this is a one byte instruction it stores the contents from the stack to the given register pair okay so it stores the string of stack to the register okay now uh, the data from the stack is stored in the high order register and stack pointer is incremented the contents of stack is stored in the low order register and stack pointer is incremented again so here pop follows the rule that uh, store then increment store then increment now there are no flags are affected and we have four instructions pop b pop d pop h and pop psw now let us see one animation based on this instructions now this is the required animation i have done some instructions this is starting with alexa sp ff ff now uh, generally when we whenever we want to uh, initialize the stack pointer we use the highest available memory location so in 8085 the highest available memory location is ff ff then uh, we use the instruction push b push d push h and when we are popping we are popping in the order like first we pop h then pop b then pop d so actually stack follows the lifo rule last in first out okay so we'll see what will happen if we do this so i'll just start the animation now before uh, using this instruction we assume that in register b we have 1 2 c we have 3 4 d we have 5 6 e we have 7 8 h we have 9 a and l we have cd okay so this we assume that this data is already there in the given registers okay and uh, here we have the memory location starting from ff ff so with the first instruction lxi sp okay what will happen is stack pointer will get initialized with ff ff i'm not showing the stack pointer uh, register here but i will show this uh, with the arrow mark as we can see here that uh, the stack pointer is starting from this point sp okay this is the first instruction which actually initializes the stack pointer now next instruction is push b okay now what happens with push b when we execute this instruction the stack point of is first decrement as we see this it, it gets decremented and the contents of c are stored okay and it again decrements okay and the content of b are stored so this happens with push b that uh, when we give this instruction push b the stack pointer got decremented and the contents of c were stored it got decremented again and the contents of b are stored so now our stack pointer is at ff fd now let us see what happens with push d okay, with push d instruction the stack pointer first decrements as you can see it was at ff fd now it is at sp and uh, the contents of e are stored okay it decrements again okay and the contents of ff uh, are stored from d to ff fb so this was regarding the push d now push h instruction when this instruction gets executed the stack pointer first decrements the contents of l are stored it decrements again and the contents of h are stored so this was regarding the push instruction now uh, when we pop see in the first instruction is pop h 
with op h what will happen let us see what will what will happen with the first the, the next instruction pop h okay so with pop h the stack point the data which is at this stack pointer now stack point is at fff9 so this data will get stored in register h okay then the stack pointer increments and the data of the next pointer goes to uh, l and it increments again okay so as you can see when we were executing the push instruction it was decrement store decrement store but here in case of pop instruction it first stores and then increments so uh, with before this pop in pop h we were at fff9 now we are at fffb now what happens with pop b see in the in the pushing uh, when we are pushing the data the first was push b then push d and push h but popping we are doing we are doing pop h so the data of hl went into hl but next instruction as we see it is pop b it is not pop d so what will happen in this case with pop b the data this data 5 6 will be stored in register b and the previous content will go okay and then it the stack pointer increments and the next data it goes to register c and the stack pointer increments again so as we can see the data de is same as what is written bc so if you don't want to change the data i have purposely done this because i want to show that what what actually happens if we change the sequence if you want the same data to come then we have to pop in that particular order so it should be pop h pop d and pop b i purposely made it pop b first so that we can see that there the data interchanges between the bc and de now with the next instruction pop d the stack point is at fffd okay so the data one two it goes into register d and the stack point table increments and it goes to the, the next data 3 4 it comes to register in the stack pointer increments again the stack pointer comes to its original position that is fff so this is how this push and pop they work so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching